Hey guys, it's Simply Julia Lauren, and today I'm going to be showing you how I follow the indigenous strands method. So here we go. First things first, I wash my hair with African black soap. I love African black soap because it's plant-based. It also helps to soothe eczema and an itchy scalp. So this is what I use for my shampoo. I take this, some water, and a repurposed bottle, and that's how I make my shampoo. Next, I spray my hair with aloe vera juice. I'm pretty sure by now all of us understand how healing aloe can be. According to Healthline, aloe has vitamins A, E, C, and B12. The first three uh, help with cell turnover and the last one helps to keep your hair from falling out. And next comes castor oil, which according to Healthline has amazing fatty acids that helps to lubricate your hair shaft, which basically increases your hair's flexibility and in turn decreases your breakage. It's also an awesome natural conditioner. And last but not least, gotta seal our ends with some flaxseed gel. Um, Healthline says that flax seeds help to prevent breakage and frizz in our hair. It also has fatty acids and contains vitamin E. So I'm just going to hop into the shower and take out what I've got here. Um, this year, I'm actually not going to be doing twists. I'm going to be doing plaits, just trying to change things up. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to start off by rinsing my hair in warm water, making sure that my hair is completely saturated in the process. All right, so here I'm gonna go in with my African black soap and I'm just going to apply it all around my head. So I only really wash my scalp and I don't take my hair down. It's just such a mess when I take my hair down. And I use my fingertips to gently massage the African black soap into my scalp. The reason I don't wash my hair strands is because my hair gets so, so dry so, so quickly. So it's just a lot easier for me to keep my hair in its protective style and really focus on my scalp, which is where my hair is trying to grow and that's where the buildup needs to come out. So after I'm done washing my hair, I'm going to rinse it as thoroughly as possible and let the shampoo just run down my strands. So now you're gonna see me going a second time. Yes, a second time. Um, since I started working out again, I noticed that I get really, really bad buildup of sweat on my scalp. So I really wanna focus there since that's where my hair is trying to grow out. Um, and I don't want it to get blocked or get my or have my scalp clogged in it anyway. I want nobody but you. And don't mind me just checking out the link that I got from my 2019 challenge. Man, I can't wait to see the link I get from this challenge for this year. So now we're going to rinse out all of the shampoo, make sure all of it has exited our hair before moving on to the next step. So as you see, I've decided to try something a little bit different. Instead of the normal twist that I do, I just have 12 plaits. So we're gonna see how long I can kind of keep these up. Uh, first things first, I gather them all on top of my head so that I can work with them one at a time. All right, so just pulling one out and you'll see that I twisted it at the bottom. I'll go into that a little bit later. I'm just going to take it apart. Okay, 
And before I continue, just doing a really quick length check. Here we are, January 2021. Make sure y'all do your before and afters. As you can see, I had a little bit of breakage in 2020 because I didn't keep up with the method as thoroughly as I should have. So I'm gonna go back to what I did in 2019 for the most part so I can go ahead and get that length back. All right, so I'm going to begin by spraying the aloe vera juice into my hair. I don't want it to be sopping wet, but I do want to make sure that I have enough moisture. When I feel as though it's pretty damp, I'm just going to run my fingers through my hair, um, basically just doing some finger detangling. Next, I'm going to be using some castor oil. Guys, a little of this goes a long way. You don't need to oversaturate your hair. If when you're doing your hair, like when you're do putting your protective style in and your product starts seeping out of your hair, you've put way too much. We don't need to do all that. Just put just enough so that your hair is moisturized. Next, I'm going to separate my hair into three sections and put that plait right back. All right, so at the ends, I've noticed that it's difficult to take a plait apart. So what I do is I separate the plait and I make a twist. It's just easier for takedown and that way I don't have any breakage in the process. And I twist it down maybe for about an uh, inch, inch and a half, maybe two inches. And then I even stop there because again, I don't want any breakage. So the like last inch of hair, I leave alone. Um, I mean like twist it on my finger as you see here, but I don't twist it up. It just makes takedown, the takedown process a lot more strenuous than it needs to be. Normally I go in with my Shea Bay butter, but I'm out and I'm waiting for my shipment. So right now I'm just going to do exactly what Indigenous Strands does and coat the bottom in uh, the flaxseed gel. Alright, here we go. One is finished. Once that flaxseed gel dries, um, the twist is going to stay just as it is and it really helps to prevent breakage. So here I'll show you on another one. I'm just going to take the plait apart. After lightly finger detangling, I'm going to go in with some aloe vera and I'm going to just work that aloe vera juice in. Next is my castor oil and you'll see I accidentally put a little too much. Again, you really don't need very much. You don't, you don't need a lot. We're gonna coat my hair in the castor oil and then we're gonna put that plait right back where it's supposed to be. Copy and paste pretty faces all the time. Picture so perfect we play through only cause you set up the angle. Web that you we've got us tangled, caught in what's before our eyes. All right, so here's a close-up of what I do when I get to the ends. I just take the biggest section um, and I make sure it's in the middle before I twist some of my hair, just so, again, it's easier for takedown. And then once I come to the part where it starts to feel a little bit thinner, I leave it alone. I don't try to go all the way to the ends because taking that apart can actually just lead to more breakage. Once I'm done, I use the flaxseed gel, give it a little swish, and then um, I just take off the excess and I'm done.
It isn't perfection, what is it we chase? Bow for your 15 seconds of fame It's your time Give me the messy, give me the pain A rose will not grow without the rain I wanna be someone who says There's more than meets the eye Show off your fantasy reality Whoa, that's yours But I'll keep doing mine All right, here we go, finished product. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's time for another year-long challenge. 2019's challenge went really, really well. However, 2020, I didn't keep up with it at all and I didn't keep myself accountable. So I think it's time to do another challenge for us in 2021 to make sure that we reach our length goals. Who's with me? I'll go ahead and make a video as to how to do the indigenous trans method and how to tweak it to your own liking, as well as products that I personally like to use when I do her method. So for my hair, my I'm not done drying the ends, so I just put it in a scrunchie very, very loosely until the ends dry before I put it in a bun. The things that you're feeling, capture your body, get your best side, breathe in the world, fake us a smile, walk in the lines, fine. All right, guys, that's it. It's that simple. I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.